$5,233,000. That's the value of the services more than 2,200 Fort Meade volunteers provided to the community last year. On Thursday, Army Community Service recognized its Volunteers of the Year. We'll have more in a moment. Also on this edition, a lot of reminders. Earth Day is coming up, tryouts for the Army 10 Miler, and Holocaust Remembrance Day is this week. We'll have details on all of these events. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. More than 2,200 Fort Meade volunteers provided more than $5 million in services in the past year. Many services that wouldn't be available without volunteers. Last week we reported on the nominees. Time now for Fort Meade's Volunteers of the Year. The Active Duty Volunteer of the Year is Specialist Ryan Knapnikov. Fort Meade's Civilian Volunteer of the Year is Virginia Brown. The Youth Volunteer of the Year is Jasmine Johnson, who was also selected as a guest speaker. The Fort Meade Volunteer Unit of the Year is the 310th Military Intelligence Battalion. The Enlisted Spouses Club was named the Organization of the Year, and Roger and Catherine Crawford were honored as the Lifetime Volunteers of the Year. Anyone interested in volunteering should contact Army Community Service at 301-677-5590. Elsewhere, some reminders to pass along. Fort Meade's annual Earth Day celebration is Wednesday, April 22nd, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the Pavilion. You can check out dozens of exhibits, displays, and demonstrations. Once again, Earth Day is Wednesday. Meanwhile, McGill Training Center is the site for Fort Meade's next blood drive. That's coming up next Monday, April 27th, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can make an appointment ahead of time at www.militarydonor.com or for more information, call 301-677-6943. Also this week, Holocaust Remembrance Day. This year's observance hosted by the U.S. Army Field Band, the Defense Media Activity, and the Fort Meade Equal Opportunity Office is set for Thursday, April 23rd from 1130 to 1 at the McGill Training Center. The entire community is invited to attend and admission is free. In other news, all active duty runners are invited to compete for a spot on Fort Meade's Army 10 Miler team. The qualifying race is May 1st at 6.30 a.m. at Murphy Fieldhouse. All active duty members are eligible to participate, but you must be assigned to Fort Meade. The top seven men and top seven women will represent Fort Meade in the Army 10 Miler on October 11th in Washington, D.C. Anyone interested should contact Beth Downs at Murphy Fieldhouse. Meanwhile, the Fort Meade Passport Office is closed for initial issuance of passports through May 1st. The office will reopen on May 4th. Hours of operation will be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 7.30 to noon. If you need a passport in the meantime, offices at Bethesda and Andrews are available. Finally, on this edition, April is the month of the military child. Here's a special report on child wellness from TRICARE TV. Today, we'll give you an overview of TRICARE's well child coverage. Enrolling your child in DEERS is one of the first things you should do. If you're eligible for TRICARE Prime and would like Prime coverage for your baby, you must also enroll them in Prime. This is in addition to adding them in DEERS. From prenatal care to well child exams, TRICARE's got you covered. Newborns receive screenings and routine hospital care as recommended by the American Academy of Pediatrics. As they grow, children receive several developmental and behavioral screenings. Healthcare providers record your child's height and weight to ensure they stay on track for healthy growth. Other visits may include hearing, vision, or laboratory testing. Screening is a way for you and your provider to review the progress and milestones of growth and behavior your child is displaying based on approved standards. Children receive milestones in how they play, learn, speak, behave, and move, uniquely changing as they age from infant to toddler, toddler to preschooler, preschooler to school-age child, and school-age child to adolescent. For more information, go to the CDC's Developmental Milestones page. Routine eye examinations by an ophthalmologist or optometrist should be received every two years to ensure your child's vision is on target for learning from their environment and getting a head start on reading. These examinations begin at age three and last until their sixth birthday. TRICARE covers recommended immunizations based on recommendations by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. TRICARE also covers dental screenings and many health and wellness benefits for you and your child. For specific coverage information, visit us online at tricare.mil forward slash well dash child or talk to your regional contractor tricare.mil forward slash call us. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week.